Are the Bears making the right decision starting Justin Fields? Absolutely, Sal, and I'm so glad. Because the Bears have chosen to fully get behind Justin Fields, Justin Fields, we will see fully ball. Mm. I said yesterday mm. that the self-fulfilling prophecy of it all, if you do not believe in your star quarterback, then your star quarterback will act in a manner that will cause you to reaffirm that initial lack of belief in your star quarterback. However, if you believe in your star quarterback, then your star quarterback will act in a manner playing well that will reaffirm your initial belief in your star quarterback. That's how the world works works. It's yes. just a self-fulfilling prophecy. People end up living up to the same standard that you set before them. Mm. So now that mm. the Bears have made Justin Fields the starter, he will live up to his maximal potential. I said that Justin Fields will exponentially grow. Andy Dalton will incrementally grow. Yeah. Nick Foles will incrementally grow. It's that. Sure? Justin Fields is the only person on the roster mm. who we can see exponential growth from. So, let's go. When I be learning how to pivot in this industry, navigate in this industry, make the next great show, the next great episode, the next great series, whatever the case may be, the I, I read different books. I read this book called The Hidden Habits of a Genius. Thanks. Goal. I don't really have goals. You know me. I believe in objectives, but mm -hmm. I want to be seen as a creative genius. Mm. And so I read this book, The Hidden Habits of a Genius, and it says this. If you want to revolutionize an industry and grow 100x, then you have to bank on exponential growth. Hmm. But if you just simply want to move an industry hmm. and grow by 10x, then you can lean into incremental growth. The Bears are trying to revolutionize the quarterback position. <laughs> they have never yeah. had a 4,000-yard passer in the history of the Chicago Bears. Mm. Andy Dalton's not going to be that, mm. but Justin Fields might. Bears fans... Matt Nagy, Ryan Pace, general manager, uh, McCaskey and McCaskey family, that's the ownership group. Do you all want to grow by 10x or do you all want to grow by 100x? By going to Justin Fields, it's now become apparent you all are interested in exponential 100x and revolutionary growth. Mm. Okay, Hacho, you went deep. You went too deep. You, it ain't that serious. <laughs> <laughs> but I respect you because I know you got a lot on your plate right now. But damn it, we talking about Justin Fields, we talking about Acho. Uh, here's the thing. They're making the wrong decision. But they're doing this because of the public pressure and people like you who see Justin Fields sitting on the sideline. Justin Fields is the right guy to be the starting quarterback for their team, but it's still the wrong time. So it's the wrong decision. <laughs> However, I understand the rationale behind making the wrong decision, but you feel it's the right time. Let's talk about that because um, year one when I was in the NFL, since you want to talk about Otto and didn't apply it to Justin Fields, Sir, I'm going to talk about me. Experience is your expertise. It is my expertise, talk and I'm going to talk about it right now with this baggy suit. Um, here's the thing. Year one... Let's be real. Like, the beauty of our show is we really going to take them in. We're going to take them into that locker room. We're going to take them on that playing field. Year one, I wanted to play, but I, didn't ready. I wasn't ready to start. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready. Now, you get to a point where you're like, I am ready. Now, what's that point for Justin Fields? It's not necessarily his performance just yet. It's him looking around, the organization looking around, and realizing, did you see Mac Jones just outperform Tom Brady? And why isn't Justin Fields playing? Them looking around, seeing Zach Wilson, Trevor Lawrence take their lumps, as you said yesterday, but still showing flashes, right? So you made a decision that you wanted to sit on and you wanted to rest on comfortably. But then you started to look around at others who made a different decision. And not knowing how it's going to turn out for them, you all of a sudden start to second guess your decision. How many times have we done that in our life? I'm not going. Then your boy hits you. Come on, man. Nah, dog, I ain't going. Come on, man. Nah, dog, I ain't going. And then he slows it really down. Man, come on. You're like, all right, all right. And that's what the Chicago Bears have done. All right, all right. Justin Fields. <laughs> <laughs> You've been there before. All right, all right. Justin Fields needs to play. Not so much for Justin Fields. Play because all the other rookies are playing. Play because he's better than most of those rookies. But is it the best thing for him? So I apply it like this. Mentally, I wasn't ready to play because it's not just, can I go out there and perform? Yeah, I raised my hand my rookie year. 
but can I adjust to them adjusting to my performance? Ah, that's when the mental reps came in and actually did me some good. I got to see not only the speed of the game, but the calculus of the game. Now, Justin Fields is going to go out there and show you flashes because he's a talented young man. But the problem is, what's going to happen to Justin Fields between the ears? Before, their decision was to protect his confidence, right? We don't want him getting beat up. Now their decision is, oh, he doesn't think we're confident in him because everybody else is outside playing while he has to sit in the house. But my mama kept me in the house so that I could attain. You just went there and said something that, whoo, thank God wasn't true. But you said it, and I know where you were coming from. You was like, well, you're going to live up to the standard that was set before you. I'm glad that didn't work out in my life. Because, <laughs> boy, whoo, I was a lot of first in my family. <laughs> Respect for how they, they raised me, but I was a lot of first in my mm -hmm. family. Justin Fields is going to be thrown into a situation that they know, at least in clear mind and body, that he wasn't ready for because they weren't fully prepared for. But because everybody else is outside playing with their toys, they finally said Justin could go out and play. <laughs> Ain't right, though. I think two things. So first, let me, right. let me make a, a, an adjustment, a correction, because from a sociological perspective, I don't want this to stand as true when it's not what I meant or what I intended to say if oh, I did go. say it in fact. Yo, show. Uh, I, I believe that people live up to others' expectations of where they can become. So when you're at Columbia, I believe your, your, your professors, your teachers probably expected you could be intelligent. I don't know. I was not there. I wasn't in the classroom. Your coaches, yeah, Chip yeah, Kelly yeah. on the coaching staff, et cetera, Chip I Kelly. would hope that they believed you could make it to Dan the NFL. Mullen. I don't know. Respect. Dan Mullen, I don't know, but that's yeah, what I believe. Yeah, yeah, I don't necessarily, it's the standard set around you, yeah. but rather okay. those that believe okay. in you. You need some cats that really believe you Facts. can do something in this life. Facts. And now that the Bears believe Justin Fields can do something, I think he will. But you said it's not that heavy, so let's come with the jokes. <laughs> oh, really? Let's come with the jokes. Snap time. Um, here is how I break down why the Bears needed to start Justin Fields and announce it. So, if a person was looking to be married, an apocalypse strikes, and there's only one man or woman left on the earth, but that man or woman don't realize they're the only one left on the earth, mm. I'm not going to go tell them, hey, you the last woman left out here, so let's go ahead and do this. Mm. I'm going to let them think mm. it was my choice. Mm. I'm not going to tell them it was by force that yeah. you and I ended up together. Because <laughs> if you that know that it's by force, then yeah. you might accept this responsibility yeah. begrudgingly. Okay. You might accept this role with a little bit of hesitancy. You might not be able to live up to your maximal potential, or we might not be able to maximize the relationship in this role because you knew it was by force. Force. Mm. Whereas I'm now letting you think it's by choice. Matt Nagy had to start Justin Fields. Andy Dalton ain't ready. Let's be real. Physically or? Physically. I do like not. Like injury Andy, physically yes, or just he's not capable? Injury physically. Oh, okay. Andy Dalton is not ready. So Matt Nagy had to start Justin Fields. Well, he didn't Fields. have to make the season long declaration. He didn't. But here's the thing All right. you was finna have to start him anyway mm. for the next couple. Okay. So you might as uh. well just go ahead and say, it's his job to keep. So, take, take oh, the okay, see, now you're going to... Take you know, the Band-Aid I started the show We discuss on the show. We don't debate. I started the show all, discuss. you know, in my feelings. You know, I, I know you did, boy. You let that bleed over. That's what supposed to be off mic. No, but, you know, I like being me on set, <laughs> off him. You know, I like being me, Seth. Mm. Um, when people get married, you've done so, I haven't. Um, you like you, you say vows, right? Oh, like, man, till death do, do we part. Man. You know, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer. That's you say lie. all these vows. All but I just researched prior to the show that, thankfully, it's dropped, but 34% of marriages now end in divorce. Now, only 34? It used to be 50, but people ain't getting married no more. So I'm about to say... I'm not getting divorced no more. Okay, <laughs> super single. No, no. Uh, <laughs> so, so, I say this to say... What? During the vows, everybody talks... Talk about they finna be together for life. Yeah. But within three years, about 34% of them joints ain't together no more. Mm. So it doesn't really matter what Matt Nagy says about Justin Fields for the rest of the season right now. Because mm. sure, he means it right now. But it could not be true in two weeks. Just like on the wedding vows, sure, they mean it right wow. now. Well, but it might not be true it. in Damn. two years. That's so easy. with all that being said, Sal, it don't really matter that he declared him the starter for the season in 10 games from now. Look. But in 10 hours from now, yeah. it's super important. Damn. You must really respect me. I had an impact on you already. You soften your stance that damn fast. He ain't even played another game yet. Oh, boy. Wait till you hear my next take. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Um, let's go back to your scenario of where I'm the, only man. Yeah, the, I'm the only man on the planet and she the only woman. One, I ain't getting married. Why? 
Because if I cheat, it don't matter. <laughs> it's like I'm married. <laughs> Everything gonna come back to you. So why we getting married? Why we gotta fake it, girl? All right, here we go. You gotta listen to your own scenarios. Um, Justin Fields is in a situation where they're gonna put too much on him. Now, the aspirations of this organization is gonna go through the quarterback, as most organizations, obviously. But the problem is, this wasn't a kid that you prepped, you groomed, you whispered in his ear and said, hey, man, you the one from hello. You told him he will be the one. Now he's going to sit there and say, why now? Now, the why now comes from him rebounding from a week three performance that we saw in week four. We say, oh, not only do you get a W, but we saw some flashes of brilliance. That's all good and dandy. But I continue to reiterate that there was an Aaron Rodgers who sat not one, not two, not three seasons. And I understand the pushback on that. Well, he, was, he had to sit. He was behind Brett Favre. I was in a similar situation. I was behind Bruce Smith. And I wanted to get on the field. But there was a time where I loved football and I hated football because of that same opportunity that Justin Fields felt. There are other guys that I'm better than that are playing right now. Why can't I play? There was a brick wall in front of Aaron Rodgers when he was a youngster. There isn't one for Justin Fields. It's Andy Dalton. So that's my point. Justin Fields is no fool. He's going to realize, wait a minute, you didn't want to start me from week one because of Andy Dalton, but now you want to start me and you're going to come to me with full throttle like I'm the man. Only four weeks has gone by. Last time I've checked, I checked, I'm last in completion percentage, last in passing yards per game, last in passing touchdowns, and 31st in passing rating. But now you believe? Why are you believing? So that lets him know there's something else at play other than his talent and potential production. I disagree with you on go, that one, go, Phil. Go. I think you are overestimating not the intelligence of Justin Fields, but the bandwidth of Justin Fields. I think you are overestimating the fact that Justin Fields ain't reading between the lines right now, in my mind. Just he has too much on his plate. I don't think Justin Fields is navigating, oh, they starting me because Andy really hurt. No, no, no. I think he's like, yeah, we did win last week. I did play all right. You know what I mean? I did I did evade some rushers. I did do all right. My, <laughs> did, my, 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 my completion percentage did rise exponentially. My pass rating did go from 40 to 80. I am doing okay. I also played in the Bengals game. I finished the Bengals game, and we won that game, too. Mm. So as I look at it, I'm 2-1 and one as a starter. Meanwhile, Andy Dalton, as I look at it, he only finished one game. I'm, I'm starting because I'm good. I don't you believe that. Think, I, I genuinely do. Okay. You know, bro, um, and you're in the locker room, your mind, you always want to believe the best of yourself. Yes. Until That's why players overstay their wealth. Until they tell you different or show you different. Until they, they tell show you, him different. But now they're showing him correctly. Oh, Acho, how did you get here on this show? Now, we, which story are we going to tell? Okay, anyway, you had no, no, other opportunities, right? Yes, sir. You're supposed to be on another show. Yes, sir. Right? And then you came here. Like, Acho, uh, there, there. I'm going here. Mm -hmm. they, you going here. We going to do this. That's my dog. I've known Acho for years. Let's go. How about this? What if you would have came here, not with the selection process, not what you said, uh, uh, not with everyone working together in cooperation, but they said, Acho, go to the show with Marcellus for the first month, just do the C block. Look at your face already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and then, you know, in the, in the next month, you know, let's pick it up. Do a read or two and the C block. And then all of a sudden they say, here you go. Now, you may sit there and say, oh, my God. I am the man. I have worked that C block and that prompter to the point where I got a show with Marcellus, right? And I'm going to be sitting there like, man. As, let me give it to you this way, and you already know where I'm going. Coach Jack Del Rio saw a guy, this wide receiver, running, running in the training camp. Training camp. Dove for the football, caught a touchdown! Crowd went crazy. Crazy. Jack looked at us and said, if he was faster, he wouldn't have to dive. That's the situation where Justin Fields deep, deep down going to be like, dog, why aren't they think about me this way from hello the way that they thinking about me after week four? When I'm still last in all these categories, when I haven't flashed enough for y'all to say, Andy Dalton, out of here. To me, it will feel like politics at play. My grandma always said, the way you come in and summons, the way you're going to go out. That's if I come in, Mr. Trubisky, he went to the playoffs. Mr. Trubisky, winning record. Where's Mr. Trubisky now? <sighs> Should we go through this line of quarterbacks and situations that just don't add up? This doesn't add up as well. We ain't going to know what it's going to look like until after the fact, when the outcome is reality. But Justin Fields, listen to your boy over here. Something upstairs going on.